You have been lied to about cattle nutrition. For years, huge feed conglomerates and traditional experts have kept you in a cycle of buying expensive grain mixes, believing that volume is the only way to achieve mass. They tell you that you need more corn. They tell you that you need more soy. They tell you that the only way to get a premium finish on your bowls and steers is to empty your bank account into their feed sacks. But what if I told you that there is a secret hiding in plain sight? A method so powerful, yet so often overlooked that it feels like cheating. Imagine walking into your pasture or feedlot 30 days from now and not recognizing your own animals. Imagine seeing a coat shine so glossy it looks like it was polished. Imagine seeing muscle mass filling out the hindquarters and the ribcage disappearing under a layer of premium finish not in six months, but in a fraction of the time. This is not a fantasy. This is the power of dense energy. This is the power of high fats. This is the sunflower seed method. But I have to warn you right now, this method is not for the careless. It is not for the lazy rancher who just throws feed in a trough and walks away. This is a high stakes game. Sunflower seeds are like rocket fuel for cattle. Use them correctly and you will blast past your weight gain goals but use them wrong without understanding the biological rules I'm about to teach you and you could crash the rumen function of your entire herd. You could stop their growth dead in its tracks. Most people get greedy. They see the results and they push too hard and then they lose everything. I am going to show you exactly how to walk that fine line between maximum profit and disaster. Do you want to know why your neighbor's cattle always seem to look a little heavier and a little healthier than yours, even though you know he spends less on commercial feed? It is because he understands energy density. He is likely using a fat source that you are ignoring. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you will have the exact formula that turns a simple flour seed into pounds of beef and hard cash. Let us dig into the science that the feed companies gloss over. To understand why the sunflower seed method works, you have to understand the engine of the cow, which is the rumen. The rumen is a fermentation vat. It is filled with billions of bacteria that break down grass and grain. Now here's the problem that most ranchers face. Grass and hay are great, but they are low in energy density. Corn is better, but it is high in starch, which can cause acidosis if you are not careful. You need something that packs a punch. You need energy. Energy is measured in calories, but in cattle nutrition, we look at total digestible nutrients. Sunflower seeds are unique because they offer a double threat. They are high in protein, but they are massively high in fat. Fat contains 2.25 times more energy than carbohydrates. Think about that. Every pound of sunflower fat you get into your cow is worth more than two pounds of corn in terms of raw energy for weight gain. But here's the catch, and this is where almost everyone fails. The rumen bacteria hate oil. If you dump pure oil or too much fat onto the bacteria that digest fiber, you coat them, you suffocate them, you literally kill the engine that digests the rest of the food. This is why you see ranchers fail with this method. They throw buckets of seeds at the cows thinking more is better. The cows get diarrhea, they go off feed, they lose weight, and the rancher says the method does not work. The method works perfectly, but only if you use the engineering approach I'm about to reveal. It is about the delivery system. When you use whole sunflower seeds, the shell acts as a time release capsule. The cow chews the cud and breaks the seeds slowly. This releases the oil gradually into the rumen, preventing that catastrophic bacteria death. It allows the microbes to adapt. We are talking about a protein content of roughly 14 to 17 percent, depending on the variety, but an oil content that can exceed 25 or even 30 percent. This is a superfood. When you introduce this effectively, you trigger a hormonal response in the animal. The high energy intake signals the body that it is safe to store mass. It improves the marble texture of the meat. It improves the reproductive health of your heifers and cows because cholesterol is the building block of hormones. Have you ever looked at a bull and thought he lacked that masculine, aggressive muscle definition? That is often a lack of energy and protein synthesis. 
The amino acid profile in sunflower seeds complements forage perfectly, boosting that muscle growth. But there is a silent killer in this process that I have not mentioned yet. A mistake so subtle you would not even notice it until you look at your bank account at the end of the season and realize you made zero profit. I am going to tell you exactly what that mistake is and how to mix your ration to avoid it in just a minute. But before we get into the specific ratios and the silent killer, I want to ask you something. Are you tired of guessing? Are you tired of throwing money at problems and hoping they go away? We are building a community here of serious producers who treat ranching like the science and business it is. If you are finding value in this deep dive, please consider subscribing to our channel Biggest Bulls and Cow. We do not deal in rumors, we deal in results. Hit that subscribe button if you want to stop losing money and start gaining pounds. Leave a comment below and tell me what your current go-to supplement is. I want to know what you are using so we can discuss if sunflower seeds can replace it for cheaper. Now let us get back to the strategy, because the details are where the money is made. We established that fat is high energy but dangerous to fiber digestion if uncontrolled. So how do you feed it? The golden rule of cattle nutrition is that total fat in the diet should never exceed 6 or 7% of the dry matter intake. Since forage has very low fat, you have room to add sunflower seeds, but there is a ceiling. Here is the formula for the sunflower seed method. You want to aim for a supplementation rate of roughly 2 to 5 pounds per head per day for a mature animal, depending on their size and the rest of the forage quality. Do not start there. This is the mistake. If you throw 5 pounds of high oil seeds at a steer that has never seen them, his digestive system will crash. You must use the step up technique. Day one to day four, you introduce just half a pound mixed thoroughly with their grain or silage. You are introducing the bacteria to the new fuel source. From day five to day eight, you go to one pound. You watch the manure. This is the unglamorous part of our job, but it is the most honest indicator of health. If the manure gets loose or gray, you back off. You went too fast. If it stays firm and looks normal, you proceed. By day 14, you should be at your target rate. Now let us talk about the form of the seed. You have two choices usually, whole seeds or sunflower meal. Sunflower meal is the byproduct after the oil has been extracted for human cooking oil. It is high in protein but low in fat. It is a great protein supplement, but it is not the weight gain miracle we are discussing today. We want the whole seed, we want that oil. However, you have to be careful with the price. Sometimes the cost of whole seed spikes. You need to calculate the cost per pound of protein and energy. But assuming the price is right, let us talk about the silent killer I mentioned earlier. It is mineral imbalance. Sunflower seeds are rich in phosphorus. If you are feeding a high grain diet, which is also high in phosphorus, and you add sunflower seeds, you are creating a massive imbalance with calcium. Cattle need a calcium to phosphorus ratio of roughly 2 to 1. If this flips, you get urinary calculi. You get water belly and steers. This is a painful condition where stones block the urinary tract and the bladder can rupture. It is a death sentence and it is entirely caused by the rancher not doing the math. To use the sunflower seed method safely, you must supplement with a high calcium mineral or add feed grade limestone to the ration. You cannot just add the seeds and hope for the best. You have to balance the equation. This is the difference between an amateur and a professional. The professional knows that every action in the diet has a reaction in the body. Let me give you a real world scenario. Imagine you have a group of steers coming off grass and you want to finish them for the butcher in 90 days. Grass alone will not do it. Corn alone takes a lot of volume. You mix a ration of 60% corn silage or hay and 40% concentrate. In that concentrate mix, you replace a portion of the corn with whole sunflower seeds. Why replace the corn? Because of the substitution effect. Since the seeds have more than double the energy of corn, you can feed less total physical weight while delivering more calories. This is efficiency. The cow gets full faster but consumes more energy. This creates what we call the positive energy balance. The body has no choice but to convert that excess energy into fat and muscle. 
And there is another benefit that almost nobody talks about, palatability. Cattle love the taste of oily seeds once they get used to them. It increases their drive to eat. When you have an animal that is a picky eater, adding sunflower seeds can be the trigger that gets them back to the bunk. But I need to address the skeptics. I know some of you are thinking that sunflower seeds are too expensive in your area. And that might be true. This method relies on geography. If you are near a crushing plant or in a region where sunflowers are grown, this is gold. If you have to truck them in from three states away, the freight cost kills the profit. However, do not click away because the principle remains the same. If you cannot use sunflower seeds, you can look for whole cotton seeds. They behave very similarly. High protein, high fat. The concept of high energy density remains the key to premium weight gain. Let us talk about the coat again for a second, because this is your visual report card. The oil in sunflower seeds is high in linoleic acid. This fatty acid is essential for skin and hair health. Within 30 days of starting this method, your cattle will shine like new copper pennies. Why does this matter? If you are selling at an auction or to a private buyer, visual appeal is psychology. A shiny cow looks healthy. A shiny cow looks like quality. Buyers will bid higher on a glossy animal than a dull one, even if the weight is the same. You are using the sunflower seeds to engineer not just the weight of the cow, but the perception of the buyer. That is social engineering applied to livestock sales. Now let us look at the heifers. If you are developing replacement heifers, you have to be careful. You want them to grow, but you do not want them too fat. Fat deposited in the udder of a young heifer can ruin her future milk production. With heifers, you restrict the sunflower seed method. You use it for protein to build the frame, but you limit the energy so she does not get obese. This is a tool, and like any power tool, you can build a house or you can cut off your hand. It depends on how you use it. Another huge factor is the weather. This is something that textbooks often forget. In the winter, cattle burn massive amounts of energy just to stay warm. If you are only feeding hay in a cold winter, your cows are losing weight every single night. They are burning their own fat reserves to generate body heat. This is where the sunflower seed method shines the brightest. Because fat is such dense energy, it acts like a furnace. Feeding a supplemental ration of seeds during a cold snap can prevent winter weight loss. It keeps the condition score high, so when spring comes, they are ready to breed back immediately. You are not playing catch up. Let us recap the technical execution because I want you to write this down. Step 1. Check the price relative to corn and soy in your specific area. Step 2. Ensure you have a calcium source to balance the high phosphorus. Step 3. Introduce slowly over two weeks. Step 4. Never exceed 5 or 6 pounds for a large cow or roughly 7% of the total diet dry matter in fat. Step 5. Watch the manure and the coat. It sounds simple, but the discipline to stick to the numbers is what separates the profitable ranches from the hobby farms. There is one more secret benefit, parasites. While it is not a cure-all, there is anecdotal evidence and some studies suggesting that high oil diets create an environment in the gut that is less hospitable to certain internal parasites. It helps the animal's immune system be more robust. A healthy, well-fed animal fights off illness better than a stressed, thin one. By keeping their energy plane high, you are investing in their immune system, reducing your veterinary bills. Think about the last time you had a sick animal, the time you lost, the medicine you bought, the stress. What if better nutrition could cut those incidents in half? That is what we are aiming for. We are aiming for a herd that operates like a well-oiled machine, literally and figuratively. Do not let fear hold you back from trying new nutritional strategies. The old timers might tell you that grass is all they need, and 50 years ago that might have been true because the genetics were different. But today we have cattle with high growth potential. They are like sports cars. You cannot put low grade fuel in a Ferrari and expect it to win a race. Your cattle have the genetic potential to explode in growth but only if you unlock it with the right key. Sunflower seeds are that key for many producers. However, you must be the guardian of your herd. You must observe them. 
If you see bloat, you stop. If you see loose manure, you back off. You are the scientist in the field. No video and no manual can replace the eye of the master. But armed with this knowledge, you are no longer guessing. You are engineering your success. We have covered the energy density. We have covered the protein. We have covered the dangerous phosphorus balance and how to fix it. We have covered the adaptation period. You now have a blueprint that 99% of cattle owners will never bother to learn. They will keep buying the same bags of generic feed and wondering why their margins are so thin. You now have the edge. The question is, what will you do with it? Will you close this video and forget it? Or will you go out and price some sunflower seeds tomorrow? Will you look at your mineral tag and check the calcium levels? The action you take next determines the future of your operation. We are here to build a legion of educated, aggressive, and successful cattle producers. We do not settle for average. We want the biggest bulls and the most productive cows, and we know you do too. Here at Biggest Bulls and Cow, we are committed to bringing you this level of detail in every single video. We dig deep into the science, the strategy, and the economics of cattle farming. If this video opened your eyes to a new possibility, if it gave you a tool you can use to make more money, then I am asking you to join our ranks. Click that subscribe button right now. Do not just watch, become part of the family. Share this video with a fellow rancher who is struggling with feed costs. Send it to your neighbor who thinks he knows everything. Let us raise the standard of the industry together. Leave a comment below with the word sunflower if you made it this far, so I know who the serious students are. I read every single comment and I want to hear your story. Let us get to work. Let us grow some massive cattle and let us do it the smart way. Subscribe now and I will see you in the next video with more secrets the industry does not want to tell you.